vast amount of uh, financial opportunities that are available to us and more particularly this session will give us a better idea about managing and mastering our finances. Now this afternoon we are very fortunate to have people, resource persons uh, from some of the countries, some of our countries uh, and the Nordic regions, top banking institutions and also financial institutions. And as you can see uh, on the presentation here uh, shown to you, we have uh, State Bank of India, uh, people from State Bank of India. I will be introducing the person uh, later on, but uh, let me just make a mention about the institutions and the uh, organizations that are present here in this uh, hall. The State Bank of India, uh, we all know this is one of the country's uh, the largest public sector banking banks. Uh, SBI, this is said to be, I think, the 48th largest bank in the world in terms of assets, total assets. And it became a public sector bank in 1955 or so. And since then, this bank, this sector has been playing a very pivotal role, very major role uh, in the country's, in our country's financial system. We also have National Bank for Rural Develop Agriculture and Rural Development, also known as NABARD. And um, this is, NABARD is an Apex Development Bank and uh, an institution which is actively involved uh, and which is responsible for promoting sustainable uh, development and equitable agriculture and rural development. And tr they do that through financial as well as non-financial in intervention. And I think this was established somewhere in 1980s, 1982, to be very specific. We also have uh, NETFI, or Northeastern Development Finance Corporation Limited. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm informed that he will join us, our presenter will join us later on. He is not here presently at the moment, but uh, I was told that he will join us. So NETFI was established in 1996. Uh, as a financial institution, particularly to it was established to provide financial assistance to all categories, medium, small scale, large scale industries, or infrastructural and agri and allied services uh, setups, particularly in the targeted uh, for the northeastern region of the country. So these are the institutions, these are the people that, will, that we, uh, we will be interacting with today in this session. Uh, for your information, because of time constraint, the organizers have uh, requested me that there will be no Q&A, no question answer session here. But uh, I encourage all of you to take notes of the queries, of the questions, or of the doubts uh, that you might have after, uh, in your presentation, or with whatever they have to offer. And help after the session, you can help to the, the floor above this, which is the uh, uh, top floor. Uh, I think uh, science block for NetFi and SBA, we have room number SB30 assigned, and we have for NABARD, uh, SB31. So 30, it's just in the corridor after we move up to the next floor. So after this session, you can take up your, your questions and queries and clarify them in person You know, with the people concerned. Uh, from the various banking or and institu financial institutions. So, uh, you know, without further ado, let's go ahead with this session with the presenters. Uh, I would like to request the presenters also to keep in mind the time constraint and maybe I think uh, as per the time given, 15 minutes is allotted to each speaker. So let us try to, uh, you know, keep the time factor in mind also as we keep on uh, proceed with the presentation. So first up, I would like to request uh, Mr. Loko Peter, who is the uh, Assistant General Manager, State Bank of India, Regional Branch Mugokchun, to take the stage and you know share with us whatever their institution has to offer to us. Uh, thank you, moderator, for today. Uh, I, I want to clarify one thing just before I start uh, uh, further. 
Uh, I'm not the one uh, who's written here, no, oh, Peter, he's uh, my regional manager, uh, head of the region. Uh, unfortunately, last night he called me and then uh, there was a, a, a suddenly emergency, like urgent work has come out in Jorhat. So, though he wanted to present, be, be present here and be part of this program, but he had to uh, leave you know, last night, so he entrusted me uh, uh, to be here to take his uh, part here uh, this morning or this afternoon. Uh, I'm the uh, short uh, introduction about me. Uh, I'm the chief manager of Mokokchum Bazaar branch, SPI branch here. And um, as is, it is all job related uh, discussion which are going to be held here. So I, instead of going about our search written on the uh, program, I'll uh, make my short uh, in profile of about myself. So uh, I joined the um, State Bank of India in 2000, 2006 as provisioning officer. So I have uh, completed 17 years in this uh, organization and I'm the chief manager now and scale 4. So our in SBI we go by scale. Scale 1 is a uh, first officer rank is scale 1, scale 2, scale 3, scale 4, scale 5. So scale 5 our AGM uh, Peter is given here is a scale 5 officer. He is in charge of the whole region. Uh, six district. No, we are uh, how many districts? Uh, eight districts of the Bangladesh. So we have in SBI uh, under him there are 34 branches in different districts, and in Bangladesh only we have two, uh, two, three, four, like four and four or five branches there. So likewise, all together under his region there are 34 branches. So, um, uh, I can see some young uh, audience uh, here. So, uh, before, as I'm, I'm a replacement for my uh, boss here, so I will, I don't have any particular uh, way, uh, like agenda or how to go about it, but uh, as for the, um, uh, Constitution of the participant here, I will go in that line, more uh, focus on that line. So, uh, as I'm from SBI, first I, I, will, I just want to take a poll. Uh, how many of you are here uh, just because you want some idea or want to have some uh, information about how to get into SBI? as an employee in SBI, one, number one, and number two, you come here to know more about what the SBI is offering as a loan or a, and a financial assistance. So there are two categories, so if, if I, may I know, uh, if you can raise your hand, if you are more interested to enter into SBI as a job, or uh, as a financial assistance. So if you are here to, uh, for the job, can you just raise your hand? Like more in idea about the job, how to get into SBI. Okay. And that maximum are here to, I can assume that all maximum of you are here to know about the financial products, financial assistance offered by the bank. So, is it okay? Uh, can you raise your hand for that? Uh, to, uh, I think uh, more majority of you are here. Then I, I, can, I can see a few of you uh, raise your hand for the job in SBI. Okay, fine. I'll uh, briefly talk about that and more on that financial products and facility services we offer in SBI. Okay. See, um, SBI, uh, there are two ways to get into SBI. Um, that is, uh, we have to give all India the exam. 
Okay, so uh, minimum is uh, requirement is graduate, and then uh, you have to if you want to enter directly in as an officer in an officer cadre, you have to give a provisional exam uh, is being conducted you know, almost every year. So as per the number of vacancy available, uh, the, the corporate center will uh, announce the number of vacancies and exam day and centers likewise. The announcement will be given and it is published in different newspapers. Online, you can apply online. So this is the entry for officer level, direct officer. So if you uh, clear that exam, you you will be called for interview and other procedures like group discussion and everything. And then if you clear medical, and then finally you will be uh, under probation for two years. So two years probation on the job training in different branches, different training institu institutes. You will be. Uh, rotated uh, uh, in different places, you'll be placed and then after rigorous training, you'll be confirmed after two years and you'll be confirmed scale one officer. And then if you are not uh, interested to enter directly to scale uh, the officer cadre, you can appear for clerical exam, which is, which is uh, also announced uh, uh, every year almost. So you can, if you can clear the clerical exam, and you will, you will work as a clerk for about three, minimum three years, and after that you can appear for internal exams, and you you will be confirmed, you will be placed as an officer. So our in SBI career progression system is really good. So if you enter as a clerk also within three years you can easily become an officer. So you'll be at per very soon with the direct skill. So the direct skill uh, entered as a PO, you can catch up with them easily. So this is how you enter in SBI as an employee. Uh, this is the main, main uh, ways how to enter it into uh, the bank. In the SBI, and then see uh, in the SBI we we don't we cannot give you direct job uh, absorb you as an employee directly. We don't have the authority. This is uh, this decision is taken from uh, the corporate center. Our HR department will take care of this all the recruitment uh, process. But as a bank. We can be part of the em uh, employer, and we can make you an employer also. How? Uh, we, as a bank, uh, we have uh, so many products and schemes, especially for the entrepreneurs and those who are in the business, new or existing business so in any business we need strong capital like back up uh, strong finance from uh, financial institutions or bank so there we can play the part so um, there are many uh, final government schemes like PMEGP as you may know that is strict. Not in Mokokchung, we don't have, like in SBI, we don't uh, give uh, PMCP, but other public sector banks and they offer PMCP. And in the district, they do give PMCP. This is also one example I'm citing you. Government schemes, we are implementing it, the banks. So. These are the schemes for self-employment uh, generation. Here, if you seriously do something and you want to do something and you want to progress in one particular line of business, banks are there to provide you that big start by providing you the finance, the capital. 
So this is just one example. I'm thinking. There is one more scheme, uh, Stand Up India SUI, Stand Up India scheme. This is also for entrepreneurs, especially for SCST. So here in Nagaland, we are all, mostly all majority are ST. So we are all eligible or a woman, a woman. So this scheme, a woman can apply, any woman can apply, or any gens, SC or ST. So the maximum will raise up to two, two, two crore. So it is for a greenfield project. Greenfield project means the, the business which you want to take up, it is, should be a fresh business for you. Means you are doing that business for the first time. You are entering into that line of business for the first time. It is a fresh business for you. Like she wants to start a coffee shop and she has not done any coffee shop earlier, no experience. So for her, that will be a green field project. So that kind of project. And somebody wants to start, say, a carpentry, for example, where he doesn't have earlier experience, but he wants to start that business. Uh, with proper planning and with proper project that also can be a great project for you. So it doesn't mean that it has to be purely fresh uh, project kind of thing, activity. It will be existing for many of people, many businessmen, but for you it is a fresh new thing. So you want to venture into that project for the first time. So for that kind of thing, entrepreneur, if you have that kind of mindset, entrepreneurship, you can come up and we have that facility and we are eagerly looking for people, especially entrepreneurs, who wants to start their own venture, new business. When you start that business, when we offer, uh, provide you the finance, you are not you will not be the uh, only person who will be working there and making that project success, successful. Because you need some one, three, four people to start with, right? Then those people you will employ, you will give them salary. So that way you are, you know, providing employment to unemployed people, youth. So you become an employer. That's what I mean to say in the first thing. Yeah? To, to become an employer, we can be part of it, and we can partner along with all of you. In that way, you will generate more employment. That that employment will generate more profit for you, and your business will be successful in, in the future. So we are all work together in this uh, cycle and then you can become, you know, partner in this business. So this is one, uh, two example I'm just citing. We are not only that; those who are in the farming sector who wants to do farming, they are, they can come up uh, and they can appeal different different products for piggery, poultry, <coughs> pottery. <coughs> All those and those who are do pure farming, K KCC you have for uh, vegetables. <coughs> so, as the chairman today, the inaugural uh, meeting, he mentioned about the situation mm -hmm. point in uh, state service. All those things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, of course, Naglem total the number of salary almost the. Uh, the people are depending on salaries. So it is high time we move from that traditional salary culture to entrepreneurship. Start our own business, do a startup business. 
think about it. If if there is a will, about that saying goes, there is a will, there is a, always there is a way. So you will definitely find out some way or the other how to start with it and where to get the help, where to get the assistance financially or in regard to skilling. You'll find out by yourself. But the, the toughest thing is to start. Just start the thing, the business is the toughest decision one can make. But if you make that decision, go for it. There, there will be some way or other where you can, uh, you know, push through it. So this is uh, something which I want to share with you. And for further thing, as as the moderator said, we will be there in the first floor. We can discuss more uh, details if, uh, further. You can come up with any kind of uh, queries related to banking, related to SBI. We will be happy to share with you one to one on one. Uh, so to take this opportunity, uh, so don't don't waste this opportunity. As I, I want to, you know, pass it on to you all. So thank you, Mr. For uh, I'll conclude my speech up to uh, here. So thank you for a patient hearing. Meet you there. In the first floor. Thank you. Uh, as uh, an economist, as, as a teacher, as a person who teaches economics, this confluence just reminded me of one economist, uh, Shu Peter, who in, his, in one of his theory he says that you know uh, this the innovators who are you know crucial in developing or making a economy or making our society more developed because it is those innovators who brings ideas and it is those institutions like the banks or the other financial institutions who supports those uh, innovators or entrepreneurs and they, with their going hand in hand it is how the economy you know progresses and, and society develops so this confluence of innovators let me just name you let me just term you as innovators, entrepreneurs, and the banking sectors who are here, this confluence is going to do well to make, in the first place, you develop and on a, on a broader aspect, our, our society more developed. So, uh, because there is there is a saying that says that there is no shortage of remarkable ideas, but what is missing is the will to execute them, not just the will, but the money to execute, the capital to execute the ideas. And here we are, the, our uh, first speaker has said that there were ample opportunities uh, to give, you know, ample ways to give financial assistance to your ideas, to boost your ideas. Therefore, feel free to uh, visit the room that, it, room that is allotted to these institutions in the top floor. As, let me, I'm reminding you again after this meeting. So. Uh, Without any further delay, I would also like to uh, invite on stage Mr. Sanasam Amarjit Bangam, the District Development Manager for Nabart Mogokchum, to be uh, here to invite you on the stage. That's my. So, yeah, the stage is yours now. Uh, 
I would like to introduce myself. I am Sarasama Majid Pangam, District Development Manager of Nabad, stationed here in Makokju, uh, with the additional in charge of uh, Duen Sang, uh, Samato, Nola, <coughs> sorry, and Makokju. So I have five districts under me. Um, as our moderator sir, has already shared, our bank, National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, is the Apex Development Bank of the country. Uh, headquartered at Mumbai, we have around 31 regional offices and over 400 regional development offices. Uh, for Nagaland, our regional office is in Jimapur, and our office is headed by our Chief General Manager, uh, Madam Tiakala. Uh, she has our roots from Aliba village. And then uh, we have three district offices, one in Mokokju, where I am in charge, one in Pink, where my colleague uh, Imsunaro is there, and one in Kohima, where our AGM position is there. So uh, our office, uh, our Nabad main uh, mission is to promote uh, sustainable and equitable agriculture and bring rural prosperity. For doing that, uh, we are doing a lot of interventions uh, in partnership with the banks, uh, with uh, registered associations, and uh, farmers, uh, youths, uh, whoever are in the rural area, we are partnering with them. And as the name suggests, we are targeting in the rural sector only. Urban areas, we are not doing the interventions because for them we have urban development agencies there. So our bank is focusing only in the rural areas, how to create employment opportunities, how to raise the income of the people living in the uh, rural areas. So for that we are doing a lot of interventions. I want to slowly you know, share all those interventions what we are doing. Directly or indirectly, we are also creating employment opportunities. Even though most of you are youths here, young people here, um, farming and this type of activities are not so interesting for you, I, I understand. But uh, here we can get a lot of employment opportunities, okay? We can create employment uh, for others also. You can do your self-employment also. And uh, you can, you know, Re make the economy flourish, you know, revitalize the rural economy. Because whether we like it or not, we are agrarian economy. Our economy runs on the agriculture sector. So, uh, and mostly, mainly people who are living in the rural areas, their income depends on, their livelihood depends on uh, agri and allied activities. Our Gandhi sir was also saying we can do a lot of agriculture activities like farming, uh, rearing of piggery, poultry, dairy. There are so many opportunities and scope there, okay? So for that, we are also doing some uh, interventions, which I would like to share. So like I said, our bank was set up in 1982, uh, passed by the uh, Air Corp Parliament. Earlier, we was part of RBI. And before going to our uh, activities, I uh, just want to briefly share about, uh, Sarah was also sharing about how to enter into SBI. Uh, if you want to enter into NABAD, uh, you have to give a uh, same, we have to give exam. NABAD conducts a separate examination for officers and clerical cadres. Uh, clerical cadres also, we call it development assistant. Uh, graduation is the least uh, uh, qualification required. You have to give a written examination and then we'll go for interview. And when you, if you want to enter an officer rank, uh, we'll start at assistant manager, grade A. Uh, I also entered at, uh, as a grade A, now I'm in grade B. So for that, uh, graduation is a uh, minimum qualification required. And then you have to go for preliminary exam, men's exam, and then interview. And um, I, I really uh, want all our uh, local people, uh, Nagaland or from Makokchung, to join our organization. Uh, we have four or five officers from Nagaland. All of them belong to the whole community. Uh, we want more so that we can also get our transfer. No? Otherwise, we are not getting replacement. <laughs> On a lighter note. But yeah, people who love uh, you know, adventure will enjoy our job, OK? I mean, no offense, Gandhi, sir. Um, compared to SBI and other PSUs, Ours is more, uh, you know, uh, adventurous, I should say, in a polite way. No? So you won't be seated in the room, you will be roaming, you will be talking about, because our bank is not generating profit for us, okay? We are only doing development purpose only. We are just helping the farmers, especially the people living under below poverty level, the farmers, the unemployed youths, the SCGs, who are there to help them only. So we don't generate profit from the public. We just give them and help them or guide them but our uh, support does not come directly to you. We will be helping through the, we will be routing all our interventions through registered organizations, through banks, through state government departments. Okay, so when I go, go down our intervention, you, you will see. So uh, we are Apex Development Bank. We are part of RBI earlier. Now we are a separate entity. And then uh, we are focusing uh, rural uh, farm and non-farm sector. Means in rural areas, 
Farm sector, we all know, agriculture is light. But non-farm sector means handloom and handicrafts. There also we are also trying to contribute in uh, you know, uh, making the industry, farm sector, non-farm sector grow in the rural areas. So we have already shared our mission is to promote sustainable and equitable agriculture and show rural prosperity. Uh, our objective is to ensure that uh, the banks, especially the rural financial institutions, whichever financial institutions we are in the district, like for example our public sector banks, we have cooperative banks, we have rural banks, we want to help the banks generate business from the rural areas and also the rural population get the opportunity to do business with the bank. So these two are our rural clients. So in order to ensure that bank has a you know uninterrupted uh, opportunity to do business, we are doing a lot of interventions under priority sector. Priority sector means agriculture, micro small medium enterprises, women and weaker section, export, social uh, infrastructure like construction of toilets, schools, health infrastructures. All these are all priority sectors, and we want the bank to focus their loans in this sector first. After that, they can go for car loan, housing loan, and uh, housing loan in rural area is also priority sector, but there are so many other business loans which they can focus later on, but we want to focus the bank in this agriculture and like areas first. So that the rural area prospers, and India lives in the villages, we all know. More than 75% of the country is agriculture, so rural areas, villages. So until that these priority areas are not developed, the country's economy will not grow. And now one wants to ensure that, especially we should target to the unreached, to the untouched areas. Okay, so that no one is left behind in the economic story. So we are doing this. We are also finance, refinancing institutions. For example, the cooperative banks, the rural bank doesn't have the financial muscle or the financial strength to keep on lending to the public. Okay, uh, PSUs like SBI, other commercial banks. Everyone has a bank account in commercial banks only, salary account, whatever. Huh? So well, since they be provide better services, people prefer people prefer to go there. So they have lots of saving with them, so they can keep loan in a big way. But cooperative banks, rural banks, even though they are local banks, they don't have the financial strength to keep on extending loan, even though its opportunities are there. For example, the farmers may come to the cooperative bank asking for loan to the rural banks. But since they don't have enough deposit with them, even though they know that this is going to be a good business for them, they may not be able to give loan to the farmers or to the cities or to the rural youths. There, NAPA will step in by providing refinance. We will give the money as a loan, uh, starting a few uh, interest rate. Uh, it's uh, very less. We give it to the bank. The bank will do one word lending to the rural clients. So indirectly, we are helping the public to get loan from the banks also. So that is what we call refinancing of institutions. We do that, we also provide direct lending to other central government organizations. Uh, we are working very closely with RBI. Uh, I won't go through all these things, roles and functions, because it would be very distinct and I have limited time. Uh, so we are doing a lot of, like I said, credit planning is helping the bank how to generate business from the village. And bank also when they give loan to the farmers, to the HSEs, to the rural youths, they don't have the confidence if the uh, farmers or the SEGs or rural youths are not properly trained, okay? For that, we, we provide a lot of capacity building and training so that the bank has the confidence to give loan. So for farm sector, from agriculture to handloom and hand handicrafts, whatever activity which can generate income at the village level or at the rural areas, we are providing training and capacity building. Today, our, one of our speakers was also saying the importance of skill. Huh? So without proper skill, without proper scientific knowledge and understanding of that activity, uh, bank will not be able to finance you people because the loan will turn bad off and uh, uh, the loan repayment in our places are very bad as we all know now. So in order to ensure that bank has the confidence with the people, we keep on giving capacity building and training. We even send the rural youths and even the farmers or SCTs for exposure visit within the state or outside the state. I have a budget for that. We send them so that they can learn and see what other farmers are doing, new technologies new methods, what other, other farmers or other rural youths are doing, so they, they can come and replicate here. So we are doing all those things also. So I will just go to the key activities which we are doing, credit planning. We publish a document called Potential Link Credit Plan every year. Uh, so I have prepared for all the districts which I am in charge. Uh, our respective uh, DCs have uh, launched this document. In this document, I am informing my banker friends, my agri allied departments, that how much loan can be given in the district. For Makokchung, I have estimated 109 crores. Okay, 
this will be rooted through the banks. It's the bank's uh, uh, opportunity to study this document and see how many loans can be given to the farmers, how many loans can be given under uh, piggery, poultry, dairy, I have given sector-wise, okay? So, in that document is a guiding document for the banks that if they want to get loan, how much opportunity is there for the bank in the, how much business can be generated in Makukchum under this priority sector. So for all the sectors, starting from SIG, uh, or all, I should say, starting from the crop loans, okay, crop loans, even some youths after getting graduated, if you are interested in doing farming, we have enough land, or lands are fertile, uh, and then organic by default, even though we don't need the certificate, we don't have the certification, but our lands are organic by default. So if you want to do farming activity, you can always approach the bank. If you want to get training on whatever activity you want to approach to the bank, if it is a relative with agreeable, okay, then you can come to my office. My office is in Argo Ward. I'm always there. Uh, anyway, since I'm heading back district, I'm always moving around, but my office is there. I'm always available here. Uh, so. Uh, you can go for KCC loan, Kisan credit card, which is given from the bank. And if you repay the loan on time, the bank will provide 3% uh, interest subvention. Means uh, bank will charge only 7%. That is per annum, okay, not per month. It's a very cheap interest uh, charged by the bank for the farmers. Na? So if, if you repay the loan on time, you will be repaying it only at 4%, not even at 7 The 3% will, 3 will be sponsored by the bank on behalf of the farmer, provided he repays the loan on time. If you are not going to repay them, you are not going to help with this one, okay? Uh, so those things are there for uh, agriculture. And agri aligned also like piggery, poultry, dairy, till 2022. Now what was the subsidy channelizing agency? Uh, it's very difficult to speak about subsidy here because everyone gets excited when they heard about subsidy. And uh, for our SCST people, subsidy is 50%. So it's a very big uh, support, okay? So under National Livestock Mission for Piggery and Poultry, uh, Rabbit Tree, then Gautari, you can apply for loan from the bank. Uh, but uh, since 2022, financial year start, 22-23, uh, the subsidy has been generalized to CIP now. CIP's office is in Dimapur. Uh, I can always share the contact number of the CIP manager. So you can inquire from them, like whether the, the National Life Mission is still continuing, and if it is continuing, what are the you know, projects available? You can just log in into the website also, you can see. What are the schemes available for people for three tiny for these things? Okay, so but you have to take loan from the bank after preparing the project, and once the project is sanctioned, uh, the subsidy will come. But that will be back and get subsidy. It means once you repay your loan only, then you, you will get the subsidy. Okay, you just can't think like you take the loan or the subsidy and then bhago that. Now that is not going to happen. You have to do it sincerely, genuinely. Otherwise, no one is going to help. Okay. Nowadays, 100% subsidy and all these things will never happen. You contribute, I'll contribute more. That is the approach of the central government now, okay? So for youths, after you know, getting your graduation, if you're interested in a great life activity, which has huge scope, I don't need to say, you know, how much meat is the deficit we have in the district, we all know, okay? So there's so many options for a great light. Training capacity, there's so many institutions are here, agriculture. Luckily, we have our only state agriculture research station also in Makokcho. There are so many institutions here to help you. KBTA is there. Nabad is also here. Okay, so, but individually, I can't finance you. Our support will come through the banks, through the government departments, okay, or through registered organizations. If you have registered yourself as a federation or a society for working for the agriculture, then we can partner, okay. You can always bring together like-minded 20, 30 people, register yourself and do the activity. So this is what uh, I have, in this document, I have mapped the potential of priority sector where the bank can finance loans, okay? Like I said, uh, skill development is very important. Uh, till now, I have sanctioned four micro-enterprise development program. Uh, this is for SAGs, okay? So we are giving any type of income generating activity, the SAGs want to take up, then we are giving training under this. It is a 15 days training program where we are giving it to the NGOs or registered organizations. Even the SAG can apply this project from us, okay? Uh, it's a, not a big amount, we give only one lakh for this. And we have conducted uh, training in uh, partnership with uh, Care and Support Society, Makokchung, and then with NRLM. Then in uh, Long Lane, I have done with Lemsa and Lok, and with uh, this thing also, uh, Center for uh, the CECS in Tuli. The organization goes the Karuna School in Tuli. So we have partnered and done training on piggery, food processing, uh, handicraft, bamboo craft, all these trainings were given. After these trainings are given, we are introducing these trainees to the bank. 
So the bank can finance this people, okay? Some have started with their own investment because this activity doesn't need huge investment. So some say that they don't want to take loan. But who are interested to, whoever are interested to take loan after giving the training, we are introducing them to the banks, okay? And the banks will come and then check whether they, this person has the capacity, has the sincerity, everything, and then as per their requirement, if they fix the bill, then they will give the loan. So uh, in Tuli, a lot of the SAG members, individual SAG members have given loan from SBI for bigger and food processing. So we are giving this skill uh, development and training. Uh, and then uh, there is another training program. Is, this is for mature SAGs. SAGs who have not matured by matured means uh, who, who has been existent for more than uh, three years. And they have a good uh, banking relation. They have taken loan and repaid. All, only those SAGs will be eligible. We call it livelihood enterprise development program. Uh, I have done one for food processing, one for floriculture. Uh, then uh, this is for 150 participants. The earlier one was for only 30 participants. And this can also go for 30 days uh, for farm sector, non-farm sector. Like Hindu handicraft can also be given. We have a separate budget for this. Uh, around 7 lakhs is the budget. But it is on pro data basis, how many days you want to do, how many participants you want to cover. On the list. So all these things are partnered. I have done in partnership with KDTs and NGOs. Okay. So this is also going to create an employment opportunity. Because skill is the most important thing to you know uh, get the work acti or activity running and then only finance will also come only when you have the right skill the banks will come to finance you when you have the right skill so we are doing a lot of things on skilling so indirectly or directly this is also creating an employment opportunities uh, some girls from uh, under under this training have also got a lot from cooperative bank for setting up their own floriculture a couple of them have set up their own vermicompost because in vermicompost, uh, floriculture and everything, we need this uh, mold was in that uh, vermicompost, these things are required. So, for that, it's to just to set up a vermicompost unit, it is only 10,000. And luckily for them at the time, 33% subsidy was also available. Okay. So, they are running their own vermicomposting unit. So, self employment is the best way out. Okay. I mean, looking for white collar job is always good, but not everyone will get that one. No? So, looking for self employment is better. Uh, we are also helping in SCGs for setting up the shops. Um, these two shops, one is in Longling, one is in Makokchung. Uh, unfortunately, Makokchung one has closed, uh, closed down after I, I stopped my support. Uh, this is very common, okay? That's why I hardly speak about this uh, setting up of a rural outlet. Uh, because these shops were basically meant for putting up SCGs, produces or products and put on display and sell, okay? So uh, the first one which I was supporting in Longland, they are still continuing for, and then at that time we support two years, like uh, we'll pay the rent for two years, we'll pay the salary of one staff for two years, uh, we'll give 35,000 for setting up furniture, bulbs and everything, we'll get, we'll give another 10,000. So, and this will, this support will go for two years, okay? Now we have changed the policy, we will extend the sub support to three years, but in the third year, the rent will be shared 50-50 with the group who is running the shop and uh, even the salary of the staff also. But we have enhanced the support. Earlier rent, we, we can pay up to uh, 7,000. Now we can pay up to 10,000. Even the salary of the staff also, we can pay up to 7,000. Earlier we used to pay up to 5,000. For furniture and everything, now we are giving one-time support as 50,000 to buy tables and chairs, which may not be sufficient. My money may not be sufficient, but it's a help. Because I'm giving as a grant, I'm not giving as a loan. No? So I'm helping like this. So, you know, again, when the shops are set up, you know, the kids, the those young boys and girls are also working as a shopkeeper, you know. So it's, uh, it's entirely creating employment opportunity. So we are giving this to the groups of SAGs who are doing very well. Uh, and then, under our whole farm development uh, sector, we are also giving uh, mobile van for marketing of agriculture producers. Okay, uh, till now I have given three. Um, this one was very recent, just last week only I have given. My Madam Tiaga has flagged off the vehicle from Timafu. Uh, for this, uh, farming cooperative societies who are doing very well are eligible. Farmers producers organization are eligible. Uh, but we are not fully sponsoring the vehicle, okay? Uh, because, uh, like I said, we are giving everything as grant. Uh, of the total value of the car, we will be giving 75% or up to 650000 as grant, okay? So all these three vehicles, uh, they all cost 10 lakhs, nearly 11, 11 lakhs. I have given 650000 as grant support, okay? Which is a very good support. 
It's a grant, it's a not a loan, okay, you should understand this is a grant support. So the remaining amount has been contributed by the farmers or the unions. And then this vehicle will be used for bringing up the inputs from Jorhar and selling to the village. They can uh, use for transporting animals. There's so many things can be used, okay. In Nogla, uh, my, this, this one is from, the first one is from Nogla, okay. Earlier when, uh, as an undivided when sometime, uh, it was given to Nogla block. And this vehicle is doing very well out of this tree, okay. Others are also doing well, but this one is doing very well. For them to they were even outsource vehicle for you know transporting mittens and all those. But yeah, one young boy has been employed, he's been given eight thousand as a driver uh, paisa salary, and then they're generating a good income now. And then if see they are some they are very good in producing cardamom, cardamom and ginger, right? So when the buyers from Guwahati or Jharkhand want to see the sample, earlier they had to hire a vehicle and send them. And after they change that, they will say this is not good enough, falana falana. But now at least they have their own vehicle, so the cost has been cut down. Yeah? So now we're using the own vehicle, they can transport. So this is how we are trying to help the farmer and then help people get some employment opportunities also. So if there is some good societies, uh, who whom you know who are doing very well, who are dedicated, yeah? you can always direct them towards me. Like I said, I can give up to 650000 as grant support. The remaining three for lakhs, they have to contribute from their own. Otherwise, if, if we we start giving everything for free now, then nothing will last. Okay, once they have a contribution, then they become serious. They, okay, my stake is also here in the business. My paisa is also here in the uh, in the vehicle thing. Right? So that is why we are not sponsoring everything hundred. There are some projects where we are doing hundred percent support, but most of our projects are ninety percent or uh, little less than that. Uh, so then, uh, infrastructure creation. We are also um, constructing this market set. Uh, one uh, of, of four uh, market set have constructed till now. Uh, one you might have seen in Wati village. My logo and everything is there. Uh, one is in Moksinyamji village. Uh, one I've constructed in Tamlu. One I've constructed uh, in Anganga village of uh, Twinsam. And last week I have sanctioned one more in Tuli. So. Uh, these market sets are constructed so that we can uh, help in marketing of uh, agriculture producers of the farmers, SHGs, and the rural Jews. Because in this uh, uh, Tamlu and uh, Anganga village, when some rural Jews are coming and selling their meats no, there in the store, fees, meats, and everything. So this is how we are trying to create the infrastructure. Indirectly, it always helps. Okay, when an investment is being done, someone or the other person is always you know benefited because. This type of investment will create employment opportunities. Uh, and then, uh, like I said, uh, this is under our farm sector promotion fund. We are sending farmers for exposure visit. So I have sent a lot of farmers from here, uh, especially from Makokchung. Uh, I have sent six groups to different parts of the country so that they can learn, bring the knowledge back here, implement here. And then we introduce these people coming back from the exposure visit to the banks also and introduce them that they have learned this knowledge, they understood now, like maybe new breed of animals may come up in, in raiding animals also. No? Piggery, there are so many breeds coming up, and then fishery, poultry. So we introduce these new methods here in the district, where we help, we ask the banks to finance them. So this is how uh, we are helping the people in getting some employment opportunities. Uh, under our uh, farm sector innovation fund project, we are also doing some demonstration project. Like new new technology, never been tried and tested, but may be successful in Makokchung or our state or in our districts. So uh, if we do a demonstration project and it becomes successful, then we can show it to the banks that this is a bankable project, this is possible. Because we have already shown in a demonstration mode that this is possible. So uh, KBK came up with the idea of uh, making Longzhan village as a uh, seed village, potato seed village. Because whenever a farmer wants to go for uh, plantation of uh, potato, they will just go from the local market and buy it and then just plant it. Yeah. So that is not going to help in increasing the production. The demand is very high. Now it is all about scientific cultivation in order to in increase your income. So we need, uh, you know, well, uh, quality. It, quality seed is a very important thing for a farmer too. When the quality of the seed is already compromised, no matter how good your soil is, it's not going to give you any uh, benefit. So we wanted to make Longjiang village as a potato seed village. Uh, we have, I have already established Chendang village, which is known as the vegetable village of Tuenchang, uh, as the model village for uh, potato, potato seed. So even in this project also, 
uh, around seven metric ton. We, we brought four metric ton from Himachal Pradesh and another three metric ton from my uh, Chandan village. Okay. So this was a project which we have done. Uh, it's a demonstration mode. We have covered 50 farmers. Um, the, again, it was done last year. I'm going to go with this potato season whether they can do it. You can see the potato of the harvesting. This one, seed treatment is done. This will be used for next year. And those seed which cannot be used as seed will be used for table purpose. Means we can consume it or we can sell it all. But main target was to uh, preserve this potato for next year tuber. Means potato seed. Uh, under our rural infrastructure promotion fund also, we are also creating some infrastructure because when even if your culti cultivation is going on and your production is there, if you don't have proper road connectivity, proper infrastructure, then it's not going to be of any help. So the wooden bridge which we conducted, it's a small investment. I have given just uh, around five lakhs uh, to the district administration. Uh, it is the road, uh, the road connecting to Dobla and Pancho. Uh, I think some friends from Naula, some other side is also here, they may be knowing. It's a, those terrains are very difficult and infrastructures are very poor, okay? Very, very poor. I have been sleeping around in Panso, Thornokyu. I have been to every village of the eastern part and Makukchum also. Earlier I was in Peg and I have seen more than 80% of Nagaland and I have visited every village. Since my work is in the villages only. That's why I told you, you know, join us, it's a very adventurous job. You will enjoy it. So I have been going there and I saw this connectivity was not there. They were driving down this small nala and going there. And then in rainy season, it's not even accessible also. So we have put a wooden bridge and then it's a multi-layered wooden bridge, okay? It will last more than a, a long year. And then we have done proofing also. At least so that, you know, the wooden uh, planks are not uh, this thing. So these are also going to help in proper transportation of goods and everything. Um, even I am told that it's also helping use this for transportation. They are saying that because it's a Marparma border. Right? And this one, uh, uh, this Chekja, it is constructed in Kinunga village. Because in the winter season, that side we cultivate a lot of uh, cucumber, cabbages, and everything. But the Nala of the Gali is down, they have gone so deep due to every monsoon. It is like I, I cannot even touch the Nala level now. The, pani le the candle level is so up and the drainage has gone too down. So they, in winter season, there is no life-saving water for the plants. So some of my sisters there from Kilunga village told me that if you can construct this infrastructure, it will be very good help because uh, for watering the plants, for saving the life of the plant in extreme dry season, <coughs> they have to you know go to the nala and collect the water by foot. Na? So they are saying that husband or no help, everyone knows. So they were very struggling. So I said, fine, let me try. So just I can't go and construct that. So I took the help of KBK. KBK submitted the proposal. I sanctioned it and we have constructed. And now you can see the water body is not clean. Uh, and luckily, this left hand, this, in this bushel, the left flank has gone. That's why the level of water is little minimized. But otherwise, it's still a good help. So this is going to help in the proper cultivation of crops in the winter season which is going to help, you know, and earning good income for the farmers. And other farmers are also now motivated to join again. Huh? They are also expanding in the cultivation. This is what uh, we are also trying to do. Um, we used to conduct regular sensitization program for the banks, uh, SAGs, NGOs, so that they understand and know what are the good schemes coming up, what are the new schemes coming up, what are the new modifications in the existing schemes, so that we can, you know, when we do our business with the public, uh, bank can uh, properly uh, communicate with the pub, uh, public. Yeah. So we are doing all this sensitization program for all our stakeholders. Uh, some of the training photos are here. Mm, and then uh, we also want the banks to you know, reach out to the villages, conduct financial literacy games so that our people can understand. There are so many frauds happening on ATM and all those things. Yeah. So the bank, uh, when they go, banks go to the village and conduct financial literacy camp, Navar is also sponsoring a small amount, like six, 6,000 per camp. So that, you know, banks are always motivated to go to the villages. So we are sponsoring a small amount. These are some programs where the bank has done for FLCs and we have also sponsored some amount here. Yeah, and then this is one of our important uh, uh, spring shed development, water shed development project. Because we all know in the villages, our only source of water is from the springs. Either it's for drinking, either it's for irrigation purpose, or any other activity. And if you want to do business, any activity without water is not possible. When you want to run a business without water, it's not possible. 
So uh, in all of our Himalayan ranges, Nordic ranges, all our springs are drying, either dying or drying. So we are recharging the drying springs so that there is enough water in the village for drinking and to do econ economic gen income generating activity. Even if you want to rear piggly poultry also without water, when you don't even have enough water to drink, you can't even think of rearing animals, right? So in order to help that, we are doing this Springs and Pets Watershed Development Project. Uh, I have recently, we have recently completed one project in Aliba village. Uh, I have section 45 lakhs as grant to the land resource department. And then uh, one is ongoing in Umar village, which uh, we have just started this year. All the intervention have started. And then uh, just now, I got, uh, when the program was going on, uh, my boss called me up. She told me that she has again sanctioned my proposal for Yom Imji Hall. There also water is, uh, I mean, water is a problem everywhere. So we are trying to cover all the villages. And under this program, we're doing a lot of intervention, OK? Like uh, water conservation features will be there, where water, water, water harvesting ponds will be dug, which can be converted into fishery ponds. We are doing, we are digging up trenches so that soil conservation measures can be taken up. We are doing plantations of horticulture crop. And then we are also giving livelihood opportunity by giving uh, piggery and poultry to the farmers. Okay, But the selections of the beneficiaries are done by the respective village council. Uh, we are not uh, taking care of the selection of the beneficiary. But our main idea is to recharge the drying springs or conserve the springs so that water is always there. We always feel that water will always come, okay? But it doesn't work like that, okay? Because of climate change, we all understand. You can see the changes also by yourself, na? Many of your springs which you were, when you grew up, maybe full of water in dry season, but now it is going down. So we are trying to revive those things. Right? And, and it's very important. Resource, natural resource management is very important, okay? Without this, no income generating activity or no economic activity will flourish. So this is one of our important activity. I am doing one uh, in, uh, I have three in Mokokchum now. I have completed just one in Longneng. I have one, two, three in Duenchang now, and one in Samatra. Um, and then this is one of our important program under our Tribal Development Fund. Uh, it is a horticulture-based program where we are covering 200 farmers, 200 families, I should say, not farmers, 200 families. Uh, for sustainable livelihood program and the sustainable livelihood program. So in, in Makokchum, I have sanctioned two. Uh, for the first time in India, we are doing in fishery because this project was supposed to be one plant, uh, plantation horticulture project. Okay. So in Tuli, uh, with uh, Center for Educational and Center Society (CECS), uh, I have sanctioned a project for uh, fishery, main activities fishery, and then uh, uh, we are going to uh, and uh, integrated with poultry. But not every farmer or family will be getting the poultry. Integrated will be done only with 20 families. So all the other 200 far farmers are given four varieties of fish. Feeds will be supplied. And all the uh, uh, medicines and drugs required for the fishery project has been given. We are hiring the technical expert from the fishery department. And it's been implemented. And very recently, I went to visit. And then uh, you can see me there holding a fish. It's just five months old. Okay. We are doing it in a scientific way. Uh, and bringing out uh, farmers from the traditional way of cultivation to the scientific way of cultivation is very difficult, OK? And we are trying to, trying to make our farmers as an agriculture from a farmer to a businessman. So it's like changing the entire DNA of the farm, which is very, very difficult. But we are trying our best, and we hope that this will, this will be a very successful. Uh, one, I have, one is also in uh, this thing. I have given to KBK. They are implementing in Monsignor Village, Young Empty, Old New, and Aliba. There we are going to. We are not. We are not going to. We are already cultivating uh, sweet orange, and then dragon fruit will be supplied by next month. So these 200 families will be growing this uh, sweet orange, dragon fruit, and two two piglets will be given to them. Even in this two league fishery project also, in order to ensure the sustainability of the project. I have sanctioned 20 lakhs separately for fish breeding unit because we are bringing all fingerlings from Assam. Uh, but luckily, we have one young Chakesham fellow running a fishery unit in Jimapur who is doing very well. So, if this Tulika fishery unit uh, breeding unit becomes operational, then all the farmers in the nearby district also will get benefited because the cost will come down because we are going to procure from Tuli only. So, indirectly, it's going to help a lot of farmers. Uh, this LPO part, I will not go into the details because it will not be of any interest of you guys because you are not farmers here. Your family, your brothers, your uncles may be farmers. They can always pay a visit and meet me and discuss what other things we can do together. We are promoting farmer producer organizations. 
where we are supporting the organization for three years. Uh, the salary of one staff, let the CEO will be paid by Nepal for three years. So uh, until unless you come together and do marketing, especially small farmers, it is very difficult to get market, okay? But your production is very good quality. But if you have only few few cases with you, who will come and buy from you? So if we bring all the farmers together under one platform and make them into a federation, then we can easily do marketing. For example, in Twin Sangman, FPOs, uh, this time they made a sale of one crore 20 lakhs ka kata bunga. But when the farmers called me last year, uh, you call for you a question, uh, that we won't, we won't sell our cardamom this year because the price has crashed in the market. It has gone down to 450 rupees per kg, which they are not in a, uh, this thing. It will be like a distress sale. Sell out of, you know, this thing, compulsion. Then they, 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 there is not going to be good profit. Then I said, okay, fine. If we have a storage to store and then we will hold this product for some time. Once the market price goes up, we'll sell. So last year we didn't make any sale. We keep one last year harvest holding in the storage bottom, which is uh, constructed with Navar support. Uh, I have just given 10 lakhs only, but the rest they have mobilized from other conversions. So we have a zero energy coal storage in Frenchham. So we kept the garden on there, and when the price went up this time, uh, you will not believe from Jora, as uh, Siliguri, Kolkata, many buyers came in there, they were like willing to pay any amount, okay? So we sell it at 950 per kg, starting from 650, okay? We end up at 950 <coughs> per kg, just imagine. That's why we could sell a cardamom uh, of 1 crore 20 lakhs in Twinsa. So like that in Makokjung, uh, you might have heard of ODOP, one district, one product. So Makokjung for Makokjung, ODOP is coffee. So we are trying to promote coffee in Makokjung since uh, central government has announced that coffee is our Makokjung of ODOP. We have already promoted three FPOs Coffee in, uh, for coffee in the, uh, sorry, Makokcho. Okay, we have already started doing some business also. There are also around six people that got employment opportunity because uh, the CEO, the salary will be paid by Nabar for three years. The accounting will also be paid salary by Nabar for three years. So after three years, with the own profit they generated from the business, the FBO has to sustain on their own because we can't keep on you know, supporting lifelong. They have to sustain by themselves. So they have to prepare a doctor business plan, a viable economic model, and they will continue. So in uh, Makokjo is still in the early stages, so, but to insert, uh, a lot of success stories are there. And like I said, we are also doing a lot of funding to the state government for uh, construction of infrastructures. So <clears throat> for integrated land development project for Pani Kiti, uh, we have given more than 250 crores to Makokjo, so Soil and Water Conservation Department. Uh, to promote sustainable livelihood under coffee plantation. Like I said, since Makokchungka, one district, one product is coffee, we have already given 58 lakhs uh, as uh, support to the land resource department for uh, increasing the cultivation of coffee in the district. Uh, this one is only from Makokchung, okay? I have, uh, for all the district, we have funded uh, all the line departments to create infrastructure because without infrastructure, uh, we, can't, we can't go ahead with any economic activity. So, so I will not go to, to every department how much money has been given, but these are all the financing we have been doing. You can see some roads where I have gone to monitoring some agriculture in road. This is a veterinary hospital. And very recently also, the veterinary hospital in Mangolemba uh, is also funded by Nepal. There are so many projects funded by us, but uh, no, no one acknowledges with proper board, which I don't mind. We are not here for marketing or publicity. So. I, I, my road has been used for two, three purposes also, I know, by different, different agencies. I mean, it's for us only, okay, please don't tell anyone. So, so many infrastructures are there, but sometimes they put a small logo somewhere. So, I will not show all the photos, there are some photos, these old photos I have, I didn't have time to collect some good photos also, I was just in Halibari, I was preparing this one. Like I said, we are helping all the cooperative bank and the rural banks uh, in financing public. These are the loans which we are given to the cooperative bank, which will be uh, no much of interest of you guys. Okay, it was a climate change project which we have done in uh, Makokjung, Twinsang, uh, and uh, Kohima. We have Mowakha in five districts under gene pool conservation of indigenous rice varieties. So we have done a lot of investment here. Uh, just recently concluded in 2022. Uh, this was a one time initiative which Nabar has given. Under our Nabar Foundation, we have given my pet, my right, uh, sanitary making machine uh, to one SAG in Shantongya. Uh, uh, so, with, because of one-time support, we paid the cost of the machine. 
uh, raw materials are, uh, this raw material came from Canada. Um, you might have seen that movie, no? Akshay Kumar, what is that, uh, Batman. That guy, uh, uh, that guy is the one who is supplying all these machines and everything. His raw materials comes from uh, Canada, okay. But uh, whatever sanitary patch available in the market are very cheap because they are all recycled recycle cotton. We all know that. So ours is uh, directly from wood, 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 uh, wood pearl from Canada. High quality, but the cities cannot generate much profit because people don't go for quality much. Na? People go for cheaper, better, all those things. But uh, even when I share to my sisters at home in Imphal also, they all say that it is a good thing, but uh, since it's not properly, you know, the machine is a uh, manual machine, not uh, mechanized. That's why uh, this thing, but it may not be a big success story in Nagaland, forget Makokchung, but it has been a very su good success story in places like UP, Bihar, Jharkhand, where very many people are very, very poor. No? For them, it's very helpful, but in our place, uh, I don't know. Fashion comes before health. Na? So, so this is a golden gold, gold story, which I said. Na? We put the cabbage, we could put the cabbage for almost a year, okay, nothing happened. We tried with the ginger also. This is the storage button where we store all our garden and all it for one year. After that we saw it is in Twenza, uh, there near Helipong. Yeah, there's some uh, programs like uh, Children Day, uh, International Women's Day, which we used to observe. So uh, these are some of the interventions we are doing. I may be not giving direct employment to you guys, okay, but indirectly we are creating a lot of infrastructures, initiatives, where uh, you know you can create income generating activity. Go for white color job, fine, no issue, try it. But you can also focus on agri and that sector, okay? There's so much potential there. There's, when the banks are willing to finance, provided you, uh, you have the right ingredient in you, the skill, the knowledge, the capacity, the patience, Patience is very important, which is not available in Mokokchung. Uh, Eastern party all of the uh, I can speak my a little bit, but I'm scared to speak in public, okay? But to my friends, I speak because they know where, where, where I'm, you know, dragging down the language. But otherwise, uh, we can always communicate in Nagamis also, in my office. So everyone is invited, we can have a discussion. And if you're interested in, you know, doing self-employment, you know, giving your, generating jobs also and giving self-employment opportunities for yourself, then we can do a lot of things together. Okay, well, with these few words, I thank everyone for a patient hearing. I've taken a lot of time. So sorry. <coughs> We only have to know how to approach. Kina jai na mangi bula ge, usme jani bula ge man. Aur kya se bolu do? Skill type ta idhar presenter ko kwa do. Skill type na ge, whatever job, whatever kila karni ki kam karni man mangi. Aise to la skill dekha bula ge aur usme bola ge. Ado bichi de bank loan reputation alo baan lagta thay bula ge reputation ko kine aur bolu do. Tarang ta mangi trust ko bula ge. Ini kalau trust kalau begitu pusat di di na pola yang jauh nisna lagi na pusat di na cik time di pernah di pernah di pay buli cik pernah next time dorop hal berapa yang jauh nisna sedo dari kau yang sate. Aro we are getting what from what I learned we are getting a lot of money in very with a very low rate of interest seven percent per annum to divided by seven percent divided by twelve months buli do it comes to around five zero point five eight percent per month. Mohon jadi Local ni tar guru juga lebih dia five not less than five percent dia tar guru dia nampak yang mana? Boleh lebih imagine per month guys five percent per month dia tar guru ni luar lagi pusat semua. If you want some people I have seen or have heard of people who wants to start a business he he or she needs one or two legs. Boleh lebih just five five ten percent dah lebih na itu repay guru dia effort dia business pernah beri jalan. Boleh lebih Given the right attitude, our skills, na part kan isla nuli SBA kan isla ni jaga na kan itu low rate of interest, zero point five eight or zero point six percent per month interest dia mohon interest rate di pusat luar tu dia almost like free money isla ni aje, 
Thank you all and have a good day.